welcome to Deepika Makeup. Hope you are looking super awesome. So in this video, I am going to talk about these amazing drugstore lipsticks. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Lash lipsticks, and I'm going to swatch 16 lipsticks for you on my lips. So stay tuned. I kind of feel silly filming this video right now because these lipsticks are on shelf for. I don't know forever pretty much everybody know about these lipsticks these are very very inexpensive just $1.99 at any drugstore where they sell wet and wild and um, yeah but I anyways wanted to film this because I have 16 lipsticks and I really really love the formula the staying power and everything about this lipstick so I just wanted to let you know how awesome these are and also I thought you might be interested to see how these lipsticks look on my lips. So first for some time we'll talk about these lipsticks, the pros and cons and stuff like that and we'll move on to the swatches. So first of all we'll talk about the packaging, you're getting what you're paying for, it's just $1.99 at the drugstore where they sell Wet n Wild and um, that's just a simple plastic packaging with a clear top and you get 3.3 grams of product which is quite a lot it's quite difficult to get through the tube um the only con i see with the packaging is i don't know how the product gets on this cap i don't know how they designed it or what's wrong because i never have any problem with any other lipsticks but this lipstick i don't know while putting the lid on and taking it off the product is all over the packaging. I keep cleaning it every single time, but then I don't know how the lipstick gets onto the tube. That's one thing that bothers me, but otherwise, I don't really care about the packaging as long as the product is awesome. But right now, if you see at the drugstores, there's a new packaging for these lipsticks. Uh, the packaging has changed a little bit but also they have changed the shape of the bullet i always used to feel that this kind of bullet is actually very difficult to define the cupid's bow and also get into the corners of your lips uh, but right now they have changed the uh, shape of the bullet so that's very good but i still don't know if that packaging is really messing up the pa um, you know the lid or not so if you are getting these lipsticks brand new get the new packaging ones because that bullet is like the pointy one it makes it very easy to apply on your lips the other thing is the smell these doesn't have any odor like this doesn't smell like anything usually some cheap lipsticks they smell like uh, I don't know very chemically or they add a lot of fragrance which which is just not so good but this doesn't smell like anything which is very very good the other thing that i want to talk about this lipsticks is the color selection it's so wide you can have a lot of nudes everybody will find a perfect nude for their skin tone and you have some pinks those pinky brown mauvey colors you have some beautiful oranges reds and um, oxblood brown colors and to anywhere to black they even have a black color other thing is they have a lot of matte dupes in these lipsticks pretty much i have 16 tubes and pretty much i believe 10 of them uh, are matte dupes that's just amazing i will let you know which lipstick is a dupe for which matte lipstick while i'm showing you the swatches if you have a matte lipstick that you want to buy but you don't want to spend that 16 dollars two dollars you might as well want to go for this one definitely the formula of mac lipsticks is better but if you don't want to spend 16 dollars if you're just bothered about the color go for these ones right other thing that i want to talk about is i get very good wear time with these lipsticks these lipsticks stay on my lips for four to six hours depends upon you know when i have my food and how much uh, coffee i have on that day but otherwise these lipsticks stay on my lips for six hours which is fantastic these don't fade patchy uh, you know some lipsticks they just fade in the inner side of your lips and then they just leave a colored rim around your lips these don't do that which is awesome because you don't have to check how your lipstick is going on on your lips usually i uh, tend to reapply my lipstick after my lunch which is midday the only con i see with these lipsticks is these lipsticks are matte matte whatsoever all the lipsticks are just straight up mattes 
so these are a little bit on the drier side so you might want to exfoliate your lips apply a lip balm and then put this lipstick on otherwise this lipstick will cling on to your uh, dry patches on your lips i have very dry lips in uh, winter so whenever i am planning to apply this lipstick i make sure i exfoliate and then put a lip balm and then put this lipstick and if you want and if you prefer glossy lips you can just put a clear lip gloss or whatever and make these look glossy but whatever color you see in the tube is directly going on your lips there is no color change when you put on your lips only thing you have to check is whether that color would suit your skin tone or not and that's pretty much it all right so that's pretty much what i have to say about this lipsticks and let's move on to the swatches i have 16 lipsticks so I don't know I'm so worried about my lips but, but I am totally determined to swatch 16 lipsticks for you even though I know my lips are going to hurt really really bad by the end of the swatches all right so let's get started the first color I have here is called sweet cream it's a perfect nude color for my skin tone this came in the limited edition 2014 fall collection but Wet n Wild sometimes without any notice puts some limited edition colors in their permanent collection. So if you are lucky you might find it. Otherwise this collection has beautiful nude range so every one of you will find your nude color. Next one I have here is called Rosebud. It's a nude color with more brown to it. This is the lipstick I have on throughout this video. Next up we have Mau Order here which is a pinky nude color. My camera is actually picking it up as light pink but it's actually not. It's perfect for any skin tone. I was actually watching a comedy movie. Next up we have another nude color which is called Wine Rue. It's again another color which complements every skin tone. It's a nude with a little bit of brown and red to it. Next one we have Spiked with Rum which is a dupe for the Sephora Pantone 2015 Color of the Year Marsala. Yep, I'm singing a song here. <laughs> Alright, the last nude I have here is called Cinnamon Spice which is a reddish brown color. It's beautiful for colder weather seasons and it complements skin tones from medium to dark. Next one I have here is a pale pastel pink color which is called Pinker Bell. It's a dupe for MAC Viva Glam Nikki. It's not a flattering shade on my skin tone but I make it work by using a darker pink lip liner and some lip gloss. Next one I have here is a beautiful fuchsia vibrant pink color. This is called Don't Blink Pink. I can't wait to wear this in the summer. I just absolutely love it. It just brightens my whole face. Another amazing pink color which has a little bit of red undertones to it. This is called Smoking Hot Pink. Again, another favorite of mine. Next up I have here is this beautiful fuchsia pink color. This is called Cherry Picking. It's a dupe for Max Love Goddess. It's an amazing, absolutely my favorite lipsticks for colder weather seasons. It just brightens up my whole face. Next up we have Bordeaux Boulevard which is a limited edition fall 2014 lipstick and what can I say. It's absolutely beautiful. It complements my skin tone very very well and it's a perfect lipstick for cold weather seasons. Moving on to oranges and reds, the first one I have here is called 24 karat gold. It's a straight orange color. There's no other way to describe this color and it's absolutely beautiful. It's not really a very flattering color for me but I make it work by applying some red lip liner underneath and it looks absolutely beautiful. Next up I have here is called Tangelinos which is also a straight orange color but it's a little more deeper than the previous one. I picked it up from a limited edition display but I'm not really sure if it's there in the permanent collection or not. It's a very wearable orange for my skin tone. The next one I have here is a very beautiful orangey red color. This is called Purty Persimmon. 
It's a dupe for Max Sail Lave, Max So Short, and also Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in Bank. Next one I have here is a pinky orangey red color. This is called Coraline, which is a dupe for Max Vegas Volt. Next up I have here is a beautiful straight up red color. This is called Stop Light Red. Some say it's a dupe for Max Ruby Woo. Some say it's a dupe for Max Russian Red. Either ways, it's a very beautiful matte red color for my skin tone, which is Indian brown medium skin tone. All right, beauty. So that finishes the video. I don't know if you can notice, but my mouth has turned into this reddish pink color, and it's burning like crazy. I just want to take this off and apply some lip balm and just calm down. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you want more and more lip swatches and reviews. Thumbs up. It just motivates me so much, and it means a lot to me. So hit on that thumbs up button and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed so you don't miss out on my new uploads and please support me as always. Alright, I'm gonna sign off for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.